よう久しぶりはいそうだなそうかもな術式反転バカ化け物が<笑>巨式紫その時点で負けていた In this video, you are going to learn how to make those two effects very easily on Framer, so without further ado, let's just dive into it. So as you can see, I already have some asset prepared. The first thing we are going to do is make the basic setup for the desktop. Create your first frame and put its width to fill and its height to viewport for now. Then add a layout and follow my settings. Add a scroll section. Make another frame inside and add a layout to it. Also put its width to fill and its height to 200 viewports. Change all its parent's height to fit content. And just for later, change the desktop's overflow to visible. Now add your mountain, put its position to absolute, and change the bottom value to zero. That way it will always stick to the bottom page. Add your sky and do the same thing for it too. Place your text and lets its position to relative. To make sure the text is in between the mountain and the background, change the background Z index to minus one. Now you can reposition the text using the container's layout setting. Let's get a little preview. Now add your cloud and do basically the same thing you did for the mountain. But this time put the Z index to two so it can be in front of the mountain. You can bring its opacity down too. Copy it. and change the Z index back to one. Copy the whole frame and delete the content. And rename everything else. Put its height to 500 viewports. Add a frame and call it content. Put its width to fill and the height to 100 viewports. Add your background, place it well, and then add your second on top. Now let's create a frame that we will use to make the transition between those two parts of the page. Use the eye picker color and change fill to linear. and make sure to change the Z index. Change content's position to sticky. And if it doesn't let you just make sure all its parent overflow is set to visible. Let's get into the effects now. Select the clouds and add a scroll transform effect. 
set it to section in view, set the viewport to the first option, and select your first page's scroll section name. Now follow my settings. And do the inverse for the cloud on the back. Now as you scroll past the first section, the clouds move. Select your text's frame and add a scroll speed effect on it. Change it to 30%. Select your background, add the same effect, but let it to 110%. Now onto the second section. Create a frame. Add it to the second section. Set it as absolute position. Place it sticky to the top. And put its height at 400 viewports. Delete its fill and add a scroll section name to it. Select your first image and add a scroll transform to it. Select section in view. Choose the first option and select the section name you just created. Do the same for the background. Add your last text and follow my settings. There you go.